And we are live. Hey, man. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you doing, mate? I'm um, very cool. Like feeling festive today. Got my got my Wookie on. Oh, that's beautiful. Just <laughs> branded stuff here. <laughs> I've got to get one of those. I'm going to ask Santa Claus for one myself. I think you know. But we are here. Thank you very much for joining us this evening, with us. We are here today to celebrate and talk about the premium rum collection, the drinks by the Dram Box. We've got baggies. Look at us. Look at us. We've got swag. <laughs> so this is um, uh, a short but sweet kind of look through um, uh, a set that's got 12 different rums in it. Um, I know you've already got ideas for, for mixing a bunch up, so I know you're going to share a few with us, which is going to be really cool. Um, for anyone who's tuning in to join us after these things, always kind of just chatting away, you know, but I forget that people actually watch us as well. It's kind of weird, <laughs> isn't it? Like that. But if anyone has got questions about this whole thing, then please do uh, uh, let us know in the comments. Um, we'll keep our eye on them as best we can. And uh, I know the team back at HQ are also going to be keeping an eye on that thread for us as well. So please also uh, do tweet any thoughts and things you've got and you can find drinks by the dram on facebook instagram and twitter and whilst uh i'm saying on the screen there it says that this premium rum collection is available via master malt it's kind of not right this second but it will be imminently so if you do want to buy one um it will be available very 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 soon promise they've got them in the warehouse they just need to change the status on the uh on the thing anyway there you go <sighs> cool what should we talk about first? Should we talk about rum? <laughs> right, no, these gifts. Let's get, look, what's the whole point of these things? What's the whole point of these uh, these selections? So for those people that are, I would say, rum curious, um, that are looking for cool gifting options, um, that maybe I'll just say, so just starting out on that road, whether it's yourself or whether it's somebody else that's kind of wants to start digging down into rum in the first place. I gotta say, I think this is the um, the perfect kind of gifting option. Uh, and that's kind of a, a, the focus for this thing this evening. So I think that, um, well, I know, I don't say I think, I know that everyone starts their journey somewhere. And the best way to find out whether you like rums is you can kind of look into it and research it. But the best way to do yeah. it is actually put it in your glass drink it because then then you absolutely know what you got haven't you so we've got a um a, a bit of a mixed selection of rums in styles and we'll kind of maybe we'll we'll mention a few as we go through we're gonna make a couple of drinks uh um you know what probably drink one as well let's go drinking <laughs> <laughs> we've already got some already a comment coming in good evening good evening dave please have you along so um so the 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 Key and important information is that when uh, these are available, must well, these are forty-five pound for forty-five your English pounds uh, for twelve drams, uh, thirty uh, three cl thirty ml um, drams of which we have got the the, the slick. Uh, we have got what's in the box on the back, um, but we'll tell you about those as we go along. So we have got a little bit of a mix. We do have um, two spice rums, two flavored rums. That is, uh, we have. Then three in the sort of the lighter style, modern style. We've got some blended rums um, from Gosling's. Got to give a shout to Gosling's. Two, oh, two Gosling's ones here uh, in the set. Um, one obviously perfect for your, your black seal, perfect for making your uh, your dark and stormy, uh, and the other the family reserve, very much uh, in your glass kind of uh, um, straight up sip, maybe even old fashioned, depends how you feel. Uh, on that one and then we've got a whole bunch of other ones as well we've got some then we've got some cool things in there in terms of stuff that's a little bit out there a little Ooh. bit more exciting the communal yeah you know yeah. this one i'm gonna crack straight into this one because you know what of all the things i haven't done uh, enough of in my life i haven't drunk enough of this so um oh, oh, straight away Whenever you're not drinking you're missing out on that one i, I think <laughs> I think it's amazing, especially that in, in box sets these days, that people can get acquainted with stuff like Cloran uh, in this easy way. You know, it's, it's not the kind of rum you, you, can, you will just bump into when you're starting your rum journey at all. It's, it's something you, you have to be quite deep into it already. Um, even, even regular agricole is already like way out there if you're not in France. Um, and then to see that people can get uh, stuff like that among personal or like favorites or, or more easygoing rums is, uh, I think that's one of the awesome things about box sets like this. I think it's for uh, the, the cool part about something like this is that if you're just starting your journey, I mean, let's be honest, 
you know, if I rewind 12 years to when I was starting my rum journey, if I tried this first up, I might have been like, well, I'm not sure about this one. Because like, you're kind of like, you're not quite sure where your palate is, is it? So like yeah. 3CL is a very, very low risk opportunity, yeah. you know, and this is also a nice kind of halfway point. You know, I mean, the Drinks by the Dram also do their their advent calendars, the, the Rumvent calendar. You know, I've enjoyed those a, a number of, over the last few years. Yeah, a bigger investment. No, twelve pack. Well, that's that's a that's a again that's a, a nice sort of stepping stone, that a part way, you know. And, exactly. it, and you've got all these different styles within, and it's and even if you are a little bit more experienced, I mean, we were chatting about this sort of offline previously, but like the spiced and flavored themselves are actually a spirits that can be used as modifiers in cocktails, you know. Exactly. So there's there's you know, there's lots to explore with it, isn't it? You know. I, I think that. it's funny, man. Like 30 CLs, uh, 30 ml, sorry, 30 CLs is a lot, but 30 ml is. <laughs> well, 30 CLs would be nice. <laughs> it, it's a proper dram, but it, it can also, like, it, like as you see, if it's not really like up your alley, because probably not all 12 will be like way up there for you. But it will it will still learn you something about what you may or may not look for into, into rums. And for for the ones that that are good you're actually properly enjoying them already um uh, i th at the beginning i thought it was little but actually it's more than enough to like get acquainted with stuff you don't you don't need more or well i wouldn't do less but like you don't need more for for getting acquainted and understanding the flavor profile of of a rum yeah, I mean, I, I poured the whole lot in. Um, to be fair, I could have gone half and half and kind of come back to revisit it, but um, it's not that I'm unfamiliar with it. It's just like it's just nice to be reacquainted with it. It really is, you know. Um, and it's kind of say. So I think there's um, that opportunity for sharing as well. You know, you, you know, if you're if you're taking it to a, a set to a friend or a party or whatever like that, you know, guarantee that people will be trying things for a new time. And it's nice also to reacquaint. I think just because exactly. like you might not get it for a few years. You know, yeah. and invariably, actually, when you when you try, you go, oh, ah, that's, you know, it's, it's 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 different to the way you remember. Memory dulls things. So um, we have got uh, keeping it on the communal. You've got uh, a serve that I kind of um, your your bar is awesome in in, <laughs> in all respects, apart from the fact that it hasn't got Wi Fi and we can't <laughs> broadcast from it. <laughs> so we have got a video pre recorded that we'd like to maybe share. But like, is there anything you want to say before we kind of run the VT? No, I was going to. Yeah. Before before we're gonna do it, like like the drink itself, like the name I gave it is is solely about like the garnish and, and how it looks. Uh, you're gonna people are gonna see. Um, it's not really that the the taste of the drink has anything to do with it. Uh, <laughs> it's a good drink. It's a fun drink, and let's just watch the video now. <laughs> Cool. I, you know what? I thought what I could do is I could get you to walk off and pretend that we were going live, but I think it's just like it's just not worth it. <laughs> it's just gonna go with this. Hi guys, it's Surf by Sobron here, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a baby a daiquiri. A baby a daiquiri is essentially a daiquiri meeting a mojito served up in a coupe garnished as baby Yoda. Um, all you're going to need is rum, lime juice, simple syrup, and mint leaf. And today we're going to be working with Kaluran Communal, a tradition Haitian rum, uh, which can be found in a premium rum collection set of drinks by the dram. If you want to know how to make it, keep on watching, enjoy the show, and Maybe I'll see you guys mix up one as well. Cheers. Uh, it's an easy build. You need two parts of rum versus one part of lime juice and one part of syrup. Um, depending if you like it, a slightly more tart version of it, um, up the lime juice just a tad, uh, like I'm doing as well. <laughs> To turn this drink into a baby daiquiri, all you need to do is take a lime, slice it, make two wedges, give them a little cup, put those on as ears, and then skewer two maraschino cherries onto a cocktail pick. All the eyes like this and this and then balance it right here in front of the drink there you go you can also use black olives but i personally prefer 
uh, Maraschino cherries because they're more delicious. Cheers, guys. Be, be a daiquiri. Enjoy. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I mean, honestly, you really are the best. <laughs> when, when I grow up, I want to be as cool as you. <laughs> so yeah. cool. So for those that uh, we didn't really introduce ourselves, we kind of like, I felt like we haven't got time for this. We just get straight in. But I really should have. For those that don't know you, you have a fantastic following on Instagram, which is why it always makes me laugh while we're doing it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's the obvious place to do it, isn't it? Um, so it's really cool. yeah, on. <laughs> this is where you got to find this guy. Uh, he is a legend, uh, and I kind of I'm going to share one other thing quick as well because I've got you know what I'm driving the bus. I get to do it. Uh, Grim tab. Let's bump. So um, if you are hopefully we're seeing that there. Yeah, cool. So you go looking this one up. I'll put the link to this um, in the chat. So if you haven't already seen it, you can do. So what a cool, cool thing there. All the details, all about it. And this is the kind of work that this gentleman does all the time. He's a legend. So there we go. That one, boom, flick that one into there. So if, you, if you're following along, you can click through from the, um, uh, from the comments in a moment. Oh, there it goes. Cool. Right. So that was awesome. Thank you for that. I'm going to make one. I am going to make one. I've got to go and harvest some mint from outside, and uh, I will post one later on. If anyone else fancies posting one, tag uh matthias uh tag drinks by the dram let's go back to flip that back banners back up there Ooh. absolutely go for it i really can't stress enough how awesome this drink actually is because you can you can make it with with chlorine communal because we haven't really talked about in depth about the rum yet and maybe we'll do in a sec but uh, it, it's it's the kind of drink like it's making a regular daiquiri is is, is awesome and you do it with every th every rum you get in like at least it's what i do but like yeah. adding some some of the fresh mint leaves it's like it's 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 the the memory of the mojito is there but like building a mojito is actually not as easy as it sounds like it, get, it gets messy quite often and quite easily actually like with over muddling the mint and you're you're bruising the limes too hard and stuff like that and this is actually like it's it's a lot easier but it's actually a lot tastier as well I gotta say, I have to. Mojito is one of the serves that really I, I've messed up so many over the years. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the uh, Clarin is um, uh, a blend. Actually, this is. Um, I, I went to Haiti something like six years ago. It's one of the um, one of the most outrageous trips I've ever been on. Um, to to go and visit um, producers. Um, and Haiti is, is very much a, a, a very wild country in many respects. But like, yeah, people are making fresh cane juice rums with organic because there are no chemicals imported into the country or being used you know plants are just you know, the sugarcane is grown wild and and uh, and there's little each distillery has its own little intricacies should we say and tricks and things they do in fermentation how they distill and everything else um and the, the coming down is a blend of what was it, four producers yeah is it three? four it's four in it i think because uh i visited the three well we know about three the fourth i don't know but yeah I mean, it kind of brings it all together into what is actually a really really interest a uh, really well-priced full-size bottle um but a super super tasty um 3cl top dram yeah. i should say Absolutely. Again, and like for everybody who's not as acquainted with rum the fact that you with this box can get acquainted with Claran so easily and so quickly in your journey you're a blessed person because like I'm not as long into rum as Pete is uh, 12 years ago I'm sure it was an abomination to get acquainted with rums uh, but even for me I think like five or six years ago I was starting to dip my toes into it there was there was only like spiced rums around like easily available next to like the the, the big brands so just a mere fact that that like craft rums are so easily available and everywhere it's it's insane this is the moment this is the time you need to get acquainted with rums like if you're not into it yet this is the best time to start we had a, a, a when i posted about this this event someone said that's quite a diverse selection but actually this really does kind of um you know i mean got veritas which kind of in some respects follows in the same sort of vein that cocktail you made you could easily make it with veritas for to the same yeah. sort of effect Absolutely. But, you know and you you hammed an estate which in uh, brands that are quite small outruns but then kind of at the other end of the scale you know zacapa is an exceptionally well-known brand you know in terms of publicity around the world you know and, um, and presented in that kind of um uh sweden style you know that's kind of is, is very popular you know it's um 
it has literally has something for everyone. And it's kind of nice to say once in a while, just to kind of recap and re refresh and remind yourselves what we got. So um, we have uh, <laughs> uh, people, uh, I shouldn't read the comments while we're, uh, while I'm focus on the screen. Don't read the comments, Pete, turn the comments off. <laughs> um, so we all got that. So what else what we've got? So um, another drink um, we thought about, I mean, you, you teased me with this the other day, um, was the, uh, the, the, the twist on the, or take on a Negroni. Yeah, uh, with uh, with the Hamden. Yeah, so uh, everybody, I guess, knows what a Negroni is, being like an equal parts drink made with uh, gin, sweet vermouth, and Campari. But you can absolutely switch out the gin for another um, spirit. It's often made like a Boulevardier with like with like a whiskey, rye whiskey. Um, but you can change up the, the the specs a little bit, but to keep it equal parts, I think Hamden is is one of the most beautiful drums in this box to just go in equal parts um, against it. And that's the fun thing about, about the, the drums, you know, you can just pick the 30 mLs and often if you're making cocktails, you, you'll need 50 or 60 mLs for sure. But like making a rum Negroni, you only need 30 mLs, which is perfect uh, for a drum from the box. And the Hamden one, just make it equal parts with Sweet Vermouth and Campari. We're going to do it as well right here. I am uh, this is one of those rums where I'm kind of familiar with so I don't feel too bad about using the whole thing myself but like you know you can save a a, a little a little mouthful you know you can work in 25 ml wouldn't be like the you can do you can do two 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 you can even do one 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 like you know make yourself a mini flight that's the awesome thing as well like use it, use it as a, as a measure. with um for example, the even maybe with the spiced rum, try it out with with how maybe the Lang's banana rum would work. I think it could be pretty fancy. Just do a one 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 CL. Like you're not gonna like regret drinking a, a thirty ml drink in total. No, no and again, so it's all part of that exploration. It's funny rum has that kind of. Um... Vibe where I kind of I always I'm always singing the um the the, the positives about that it's, it can be a very grown up spirit, but you can enjoy it. But of course, rum is is a very diverse category and it works perfectly for for cocktails. You know, it kind of like there is literally something for everyone in the rum world, isn't there? You know, there's I mean, anyone can walk away from it feeling um, upset or hard done by. You know, excuse me, I'm just gonna make some put some ice in my glass. I'm not. I'm not a, a Negroni kind of person, but like when I saw this the other day that like you posted the other day, I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. It <laughs> I did have to admit that the uh, the rum Negroni is actually called a Kingston Negroni, I think by uh, the people at Death & Co. Um, so already referring to Jamaica, uh, which is perfect if you're gonna use Hamden because it's a Jamaican rum. Um, but what I do like is just adding a slight uh, twist to it. And I got some Falernum here. I didn't bring my entire bottle because it's like my home bar, but just a little sample. Uh, Falernum is like a uh, Caribbean liqueur, originally from Barbados. It uh, gets produced different places nowadays, but let's say that Barbados still has the original recipe. Um, but it's like a lime, cloves, and, and uh, other spices liqueur, and it adds just a fun zing to it. Yeah, it's like a slight bit of vibrance to it. And, uh, it's just just a bar spoon is enough to make it just yeah. pop. Just a little dimension, extra dimension. Very cool. I must say, I'm kind of um, I continue to drink a lot more of these. I, mean, <laughs> I like the idea of just building the glass. It's like that, <laughs> that's <laughs> well done. <laughs> Finger stirred for the win. <laughs> Rather. Just don't do it for other people unless you're Gaz Regan. Rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can get away with it, can't you? <laughs> it's very cool. So yeah, we got these. Um, I mean, it's. Um, I really feel like I. I feel like I should be mentioning um, the signature blend number two that was in the set as well. Obviously, I have a bit of a, a boutiquey connection. Uh, cut me in half. I've got boutiquey running through me. Um, this equally works, as I found out very nicely in that serve. But you know, I mean, like the Hamden Estate is. Pure pot still rum. So we've kind of, yeah, you can go from one end of the scale to the other. You've got the flavors, you've got the, the modern rum in terms of the Kappa, Florida Caña, the Pampero, um, pure pot still rum, you know, pure single rums is. You've got single blended uh, in terms of doilies. Um, and and I guess that's where the, you know, the blended is signature blend as well. So we've got these things that you can, you can kind of, when you're looking up the styles and the, the, the knowledge that kind of is out there, there's so much information on the internet. 
but you can't be reading what somebody else is talking about and actually then pouring a bit in your glass and actually tasting it for yourself because then you really know you know yeah. <laughs> some other guy on the someone who's written a yeah like a page on the on the internet yeah until you actually try it you never know do you so there's i think that this is the exploration part is the perfect part actually like i think it was three years ago like 2018 i actually bought the drinks by the drum mezcal calendar uh not because i wanted to do um just a uh, advent calendar thing but i wanted a library of flavors just to get acquainted with the spirit and i didn't want to buy like three or four bottles i wanted to have like a taste of what it is and that's what makes these sets so much fun it's like what you're saying is, is like you get a library and you're reading about stuff and you're reading about column distilled drums and you're reading about blended drums and you're reading about pot still drums and all of a sudden you can actually put them next together um mm -hmm without having to break the bank because like buying bottles of everything, I guess you and I know how expensive that can get. But, yeah. but like, it's, it's, it's a perfect way to, to just learn about the spirit as well. Yeah, for sure. Well, I kind of, um, so we, we've, we've, um, there's that, that, that idea of familiarity, if you are familiar. I mean, I guess if you're, if you're looking at this as a gift for somebody who's got like the ultimate rum collection already, well, maybe, you know, maybe you're missing the trick given, you know, gifting this to them. But there are people that are on like, yeah, I mean, especially, I mean, I've seen this all through lockdown. We've seen people come into rum for the first time and kind of wanting to understand it and get into it. And it's like, this is a, this is the, the perfect part. Yeah. We, we mentioned at the top of the head, yeah, we have about Lang's uh, banana rum, you know, and I think, um, I mean, even that was, was a William Grant product and it is, um, um, they've got um, sort of sustainability as part of their message. You know, I'm going to actually, I, I, I did try some of the cocktail at, um, at the merchant house in London and it was wonderful. You know, they, they made a fantastic job of the, 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 the thing. So this idea with this would be, um, I think is, Going to be a, a wonderful modifier in its own right. Um, well, you got any, you got yours open there, or uh, be, did you get around to trying it yet? Is it a new um, one for you? I haven't had the banana rum just yet. Just need to have a look for it in a second because <laughs> <laughs> it's working days. It's a week, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this is this is kind of work, isn't it? You know, <laughs> for all people, I'm a, I'm actually a teacher as well, so I need to be standing in front of kids tomorrow morning. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it, keep it, it in the it, front maybe do a post on it um, in the coming days or something like that i think it's it, honestly it's um it's one of those ones that's kind of really growing on me and it's kind of uh, i don't feel bad about um like dipping in i mean would i would i buy an entire bottle i'm not sure but like you know in the case of this it's like that's all right that's cool we got it i know that the um the the, the don q uh one is particularly good as well uh you know in terms of um the quality of spirit you know and the quality of uh, flavor um, i absolutely think there is there is room for spiced drums or flavored drums you know that there is a need for it and a requirement for it not just because of of the flavor aspect of it but there's history to it as well and you know it's it's tradition as well but there's just a huge difference between how things are flavored and and what the message is behind behind the things and that's where where research yeah. comes in and handy and then where you can taste the difference and i think the don q is is one i'm 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 familiar with as well and i really like it as well it's it's a proper example of what a spice drum needs to be i do love the honesty where you kind of there's no mistake in what you're getting i mean it's kind of um yeah we you want know, to sort of often preach that you know that rum and spice rum are two different things but it's kind of like that's that inclusivity of the rum category no matter how you kind of push out it kind of like we all sort of all, all kind of gather in different rum styles and you know it all kind of it all kind of comes back and we go yeah i might rail against the fact that sometimes it's like some things don't want to be included but you know i think we're i think we're all part of one big happy family and we're it's gonna it's gonna kind of stay that way for, forever i think we got the <laughs> I had this. Um, I had. A, I was lucky enough to to get hold of a, a set last year, and kind of. Um, I, I did the uh, the Advent run up to to, to Christmas, but like, I up with, oh, I've got twelve drams, and there's twelve days of Christmas. You know, I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to sort of celebrate afterwards, and like sort of take a take a tot every day thereafter. Um, so I think, but but also I think I say like this this idea of sharing. I kind of um, some of these I've got. So like that the signature blend. Obviously, I've access to a decent bottle stock of that so i'm not going to crack that one open i'm gonna i shall share that with a friend and it's the same with the door five as well and the veritas you know these are for me i, I you know uh, sharing and, and um and uh, getting other people involved yeah helping them on their on the first steps of the, the journey i think it's gonna be quite cool so what do you reckon um 
other drinks i mean like we got um yeah, you know, kind of the idea is not necessary to put the whole lot into a, into a cocktail side, but um, you know, I mean, um, Gosling's Black Seal. I mean, it's dark and stormy is written all over, isn't yeah. it? You know, like, e like even I, when I make dark and stormies, like ninety five percent of the time, I'll go for Gosling's. Like, it's it's just what it is, you know. It's how you get to know them. It's how you keep drinking them. Like, there's something to it, and gotta hand it to them like like uh, people can can nag what they want but goslings is dark and stormy and i'll always love it that way yeah they, it's the serve and i what i do love is like i actually hadn't had the family reserve but uh, for me it's one of the few it's one of the few new new drums for me um so i'm actually looking forward to it I haven't uh, cracked it open yet i'm gonna do it uh a bit later on <laughs> <laughs> maybe a minute or five <laughs> I mean, we have actually found rums that you haven't tried before. Yeah, there is actually. I think there's two in. Yeah, there's two in here. Uh, the uh, the Langs banana rum and the uh, Gosling family. Yeah. Yeah. it's amazing. So, uh... <laughs> I'm genuinely amazed by that. I have to say, uh, just because I've I've spent quite a lot of time drinking large amounts of that at the America's Cup the other year, which is a bit of a name drop thing to say, but like kind of it was sponsored by Gosling, so there was plenty of it. <laughs> yeah. I guess it also depends a bit on the market you're in, you know. Like in in, in Belgium, maybe there's there's a whole lot of other stuff. Like maybe getting a. I'm thinking now who imports it, but I think I know. I think I know, but I, I think that's the kind of bottling that they're actually not putting a lot of like attention towards. Uh, yeah, it kind of. Um, it, yeah, I guess it's uh, it depends on my like. We're kind of lucky here in the UK. I think um, love drinks to kind of do a, a, a strong drink, a strong sort of um, effort to kind of get it out in front of people. Because this yeah. year's been also has been quite different because like we're, we're not getting around to bars and we're not getting out to masterclasses, seeing brand ambassadors quite the way we would do under normal circumstances. So again, it's this this idea of exploring has kind of uh, has, has worked out quite nicely. You know, um, we kind of it'd be nice uh, in uh, to, to to see how these ones kind of change over the years as well, like the ones that kind of fit into it you know i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna go back uh, and uh, have a look at my uh, social media from last year and see what see what ones i was sipping against last year and see how the things have moved and changed on yeah so we've got um uh sorry i was saying so this one we've uh, i've been tasked with keeping this one short and sweet um but i think we can't really kind of go without um i need to oh, I need to share a link to the actual product itself let me just quickly copy that pop that into the comments in case anyone does want to buy it themselves. I think it is well worth grabbing older one. Uh, I, was, I was doing a tasting the other day. Uh, it was a, a, a um, whole lot. Actually, I'm not sure I've got the whole lot. Yeah, well, right, we'll have to look. I think actually, I think it might have been clipped in terms of length there. Um, but favorable one, Master Amount. Um, I was doing a tasting the other day and uh, someone accused me of being a bit like QVC because I kept kind of like sort of going like, ah, oh, this gifting option. <laughs> 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 so I'm trying not to be like UVC these days if I can help it, but like you know, um, but we do want to go out and try. <laughs> so what's the, the future hold for you? What, what we've got on the coming up? Do you think any of these um, these these tops might feature in serves coming up? How often? How far out have you are you planned? I'm I'm actually stuffed right now. I actually have a drinks by the dram rum advent calendar as well, which I'm like, <laughs> and I didn't I didn't look up what's inside. So I'm actually gonna be surprised, which I'm I'm like extremely looking forward to. Uh, but in terms of this one, I think I'm actually gonna take the, the four or five drams that I haven't been drinking for a long time. Um, for example, the Pampero, um, the the Zacapa has been quite a while as well. The Don Q spiced, um, and then the Gosling's Family Reserve, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna try and do something with them um, because it's good. It's good to train your palate a bit um and to get reacquainted with some stuff as well like for example the carpa it's it's like it, it it's something that's uh, it, it's difficult sometimes for rum lovers to return to it because it's on the sweetest side and, and once you get more into rums you go you go drier and drier and drier and when you then try another try a sweet one again it's 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 harder but in the context of mixology and, and mixing drinks you can use that sweetness level to its advantage you know just use less syrup in a drink or whatever or, or like whatever and, and it's one of the best exercises that i've had is like using what people think is a negative in a positive way mm. especially like 
it's already difficult in in the rum world and in, in either spirits world like they're saying like this is a sipping rum this is a mixing rum i think it's a very dangerous thing to say yeah like, completely it's not that the world isn't that kind of split is it there's, there's too many yeah. blurs and overlaps and guarantee if it's been a while since you've tried scap i bet when you do try it it'll be um a lot drier than you you remember it as as well uh yeah, it's, I it's, that. it's a very easy rum to pair with with lots of of fun things I repeat, uh, so that sort of, um, uh, you know, after dinner serve kind of, um, uh, or, or you know, stomach stirred. I mean, say, I think it's kind of taking advantage of the sherry, yeah, the sherry um, influence in the flavor profile. Yeah. So that's the thing. So we can kind of, kind of, you, you kind of dot about. I mean, like, Dool is five, um, young rum, um, nice natural kind of sweetness with it, but perfect kind of sipping kind of starting point, you know, uh, and then compare and contrast against the Hamden um, or, uh, and, and say, I kind of, kind of keep returning, but like you know, keep going back to Clarion. It's like you know, the, yeah, these these are all very very different style. Of so it's so very cool to actually kind of um, um, line them up against each other. So I think, um, yeah, I, I'm gonna, I, I'm I'm quite cool because I haven't a number of these I haven't actually had bottles of as well. So uh, these are not going to go to waste. That's for sure. Only the ones that I'm very very familiar with in terms of sample stock they're going to get gifted to the others. So I'm gonna, I shall enjoy these. Whether I kind of keep hold of them for Christmas or whether they get. Um, sampled uh, in the next few days i'm not i'm not sure but uh that's cool very Can cool like you were you were drinking like rum and coke bef just before we we started like mm. like what what kind of rum do you mix in the rum and coke what's like your style uh, of rum yeah i know i you know what i can't every time we do tastings i don't mind i get people when actually when we do tastings they go oh, i bet you you know oh, i hate a rum and coke and i sort of i have to say i i love a rum and coke i, I really do it's like it's just that is my guilty secret and i actually was drinking it with um signature blend number two uh because I, I, the, the more i kind of the more i kind of get into it the more, the more i love it uh but a fairly a fairly i prefer a, a fairly sort of um tight ratio maybe like two to one if it's a been a been a tough day three to one if it's a little easier day you know but i don't um i don't i don't make cuba libres i don't put it over ice i don't fill it up with lime i just kind of take just just room temperature cola room temperature rum you know yeah. and uh, <laughs> and just go with it like that if the rum doesn't come through then i kind of feel like you're missing the point you know it's kind of like mm -hmm. i don't i don't like my cocktails to not or any of my mixed drinks to, oh. to not taste of the spirit base if you've Absolutely. lost the spirit base then yeah you have to, you have to learn and think in in like layers of, of flavor you have the spirit base at first you have to have your modifiers and you have to your other flavor components there, there has to be a strict order to it mm. and then like the way they play that's a different question but you actually have you have to taste whatever you're using and if you don't taste it then either use more or just like restrain or whatever everything else you use and to talk that's about like Roman cooks going back to it like uh, when i got more serious into into like mixing cocktails I, I was getting like a bit like against rum and cokes because it sounds so easy and so boring and it's like a gin and tonic you know it's like it's too easy for me mm -hmm. but i think it's it's since the lockdown and <laughs> the, the first ones so like march or april here in belgium I've actually been been rediscovering some very easy ways of drinking, um, even like rum and cocoa water, like coconut water. Um, yeah. uh, it's super, it's, it's a Caribbean drink, you know, like just some, some like Veritas and coconut water is like super delicious. Just drink it cold, um, but Coca-Cola as well. And I don't even like Coca-Cola on itself, <laughs> but I do like it when there's rum in it because like the caramel and and the bot the botanicals, the herbs in, in Coca Cola actually pull something out of a rum that you yeah. won't be able to pull out like in other ways, you know? It, it plays together. It's it's more than just drinking oh, and rum and like, so, so much rum is there's gonna be drunk with Coke. I mean like so many brands around the world have that's kind of like and what is it gonna be mixed with? That's their starting point. So, you know, I mean I, I love yeah, honestly it's that big sort of rich Jamaican Guyanese kind of flavors that actually pair up beautifully with it. I don't drink a light rum and coke. It's kind of like I need a heavy rum and coke. I need something that's going to stand out. But like I am, I, I know it sounds basic, but like, yeah, hey, what can I say? Sometimes I like my drinks really simple, you know? Yeah. But it's like, this is why I'm really digging this Negroni because like, I just, you know, just build it, stir it, drink that's it. Exactly. That's why I keep that. I, I think a, a daiquiri is like, is like something I drink at least once or twice a week just because whenever I get a new rum in to try, and 
I notice that its flavor profile kind of fits what I see in a daiquiri, I'll just mix it up and and, and like give it a go. I see, I see lots ask like about <laughs> no, no, I'm ba more basic than that, but I'm not quite down to supermarket uh, level cola. I'm, so I'm at least full fat mainline brand. Thank you. <laughs> I got to admit as well, like like my wife, she likes Coca Cola, and and like I never drink uh, Coca Cola on itself, but I, I'm not really a big soda pop kind of guy, so so I will always use Coca Cola as well. I've tried the the Fever Tree Mad Madagascar uh, Coca Cola, what well, cola without the coca, <laughs> but um, it's it's not the same, you know. I think there's that we, we get um when I work at Run Festival, anyone who's dialing into this who's kind of watching, going like, you know, well I'm 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 just starting out. This is I guess what we're sort of trying to say here is really that it's okay to enjoy your rums however you enjoy them. If you're not quite in the sipping neat stage, that's fine. A little bit of mixer with them, no worries at all. This is like how the, the vast majority of the world drinks their their their, their spirit Absolutely. it is the default. Yeah, like ninety percent of the, the spirits drunk that way. But it's kind of like I think it's kind of um to maybe if you are pouring it, maybe pour a little less and let the rum come through or whatever, you know, that's how you kind of move on. Or well, if you can try a little bit neat to start with, you know, and then yeah. then add the mixer. But, you know, everyone's on a different part of the journey. And I say, so I think lockdown has just kind of proven, you know, I've, I've found so many people coming to rum over the last, you know, eight, nine months or whatever, you know, people that are coming in for the first time. And it is a confusing, really confusing world, the rum world. We've got everything in it. We've got every distillation style that every other spirit category has got. We've got multiple bases to start from in, in cane juice and, and molasses and syrup. And, and then if you kind of, if you are a little bit more um, kind of out there, you can let in the, the rap, you know, uh, rapadura and the panela and stuff like that. So yeah, there's all these other kind of things, you know, it's how you mature it, what you mature it in, you know, is it like, is it just bourbon cask for like with doilies or is it various like three types of sherry cask or something in case of um, Zacapa, you know, is yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we got it all. <laughs> Unfortunately, what we don't know is a joined up message on 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 the, the the basics like age statements and things like that. But you know, whatever. <laughs> it's we're in it for the ride, I think, aren't we? We're in it. We love it. That's that's what it kind of draws us in, you know. And so many of them work well in mixed drinks as well. It's just it's, honestly, it's just it is the best category. I got. Like, I think I think that's exactly like what makes rum so much more because because for each spirit. Like you get you get bourbon and you get rye and you get Tennessee whiskey and and whatnot, but essentially, like if in the world of rum, people would just label it as rum, rum and rum, but like, <laughs> and then we get labels like white, gold and dark. Oh, but right. at the same time, like it, 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 there, there's so much more to it, and and trying to explain that to people. And in those cases, this is this is good stuff to actually get people to understand. Like, there's no such thing as as just standard white rum. There's no such thing as standard gold rum or standard dark rum. You know, compare all the dark rums in this box to each other. Compare all the white rums to each other, and the golden rums or amber rums, whatever. And are we, you know, are we, are we, are we trying to lie them out from like from white through to the darkest? I mean, that doesn't make yeah, any sense, really, does it? But, exactly, yeah. because because you're going to start out with either like you know, you're going to start with Claran probably, and you're going to end up with probably Gosling's probably family, Gosling's yeah. regular. Yeah, but like, there's no logical pattern in, in what you're going to be having. I'd be cool, actually. You know what? I think I know we're not we're not here doing a formal tasting on this whole thing, but actually, you know what would be really good is to get people to buy a set, and then we kind of like schedule another one where we actually sit there and actually just go through them, and we kind of put them into an order and actually a progression. Yeah. Might take and an hour. Nine tasting order. Just see. <laughs> <what we're doing. laughs> Cool. Right. I'm going to say we um, we were tasked with keeping it short and sweet. I think this one. I think we've, we've ticked the box. Two fabulous drinks. I am going to make, honestly, I'm going to make the uh, the Baby Yoda daiquiri. I am going to make one, and I will uh, post and share that and tag you on it. Uh, not that you'll notice with a huge volume of notifications you get on Instagram, but I will try and tag you in, see if you notice. <laughs> well, yeah. What are you up to? Like 65 million followers now, is it, or something? <laughs> so they're around, around, around. <laughs> or around there <laughs> so yeah i think it's kind of a so if anyone um say if you if you have got these rums if you've got the set um please do tag us in it um if you've got any particular questions that you want to know um about no yeah dave it wouldn't be an hour it probably would be two or more <laughs> um if you've got any particular questions about any of the views and you want to just kind of ask us you can find me um via the floating rum shack let me just take uh whoop. 
in Avatar. I don't, honestly, I just get to the point where I assume everyone knows who I am. Um, just hide that and hide that. Our oh, names come back up there. Look at that. Um, so uh, you can find me on Instagram via the Floating Rum Shack, uh, also Boutique Peter, and Tyus served by Soberon. I say you, you might get a response from him because he's so popular, um, but uh, certainly tag him in it. It'd be like cool. Um, oh, of course, if you want to um, and share, don't forget to tag in Drinks by the Drama as well. But I'll say thank you very much to everyone for uh, for joining us this evening. We've had a good following there, and uh, thank you for all the comments and questions coming in. Um, we will, uh, this will be saved out and can be watched on Facebook uh, ad infinitum uh, when you get your uh, your sets in front of you. Um, and don't say, if you really are stuck, it's Christmas coming up. If you're stuck for a gift for somebody, this is the perfect gift. Cool. Absolutely. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Good night. TTFN. <laughs>